Welcome to Beth's Happy Home. I consider my viewers to be my friends and so I am talking to you today as a friend and not as a medical professional. I do not pretend to be a medical professional but I have been doing quite a bit of research into the international shortage of antibiotics and I cannot find a logical explanation anywhere on the internet because um, the supply chain issues don't make sense in this context and um, that's the one that's being most commonly offered. Others have speculated that because antibiotics, common antibiotics are not a big money maker for any pharmaceutical company that they are deliberately limiting them but um, or creating a shortage so that they can raise the prices. I don't believe that either. They're heavily regulated. They would get caught and, and that doesn't make any sense. So develop your own conspiracy theory. I've developed mine but I'm keeping it to myself. So I have um, dealt with this in a practical way and that's what I'm urging you to do today is to maybe consider taking the steps that I have taken to protect against that antibiotic shortage. I was recently very sick and I was prescribed an antibiotic and the doctor prescribed amoxicillin uh, and my husband went to get it at the pharmacy the pharmacist said you are really lucky to be able to get this because it's really there's a huge shortage we just happen to have it right now and so I got what I needed um, 10 days worth twice a day anyway it made me really be alarmed that there is an ongoing shortage and I have almost as of next week I will have 23 grandchildren I have seven children and I would be going crazy if I thought that one of them was sick and needed an antibiotic and they couldn't get it and so First of all, COVID, the flu, RSV, they are not treated with antibiotics. Um, only the secondary infections that can occur, that sometimes occur, occur, like ear infection or pneumonia, are treated with antibiotics. And so it's very important that when you need an antibiotic, you have an antibiotic, but that you don't take an antibiotic when you don't need an antibiotic. When, it, when you have a virus, an antibiotic isn't going to help at all. And it is going to do damage because it upsets the bacterial balance in your gut. So never self-diagnose. Um, the other side effect of self-diagnosing is what has happened in the United States where people don't take their antibiotics properly and they like they feel better and so they stop taking it and what happens is that those super virus that weren't killed readily by the antibiotic are left alive because they quit taking it too soon and so they reproduce and then that is the version of the illness that spread and so you get these really powerful germs that are not um, going to succumb to antibiotics very readily and so it's really important that you don't abuse antibiotics and you don't take them without the advice of a competent medical professional. So um, what I did be in response to the shortage is I went online and you can't get amoxicillin without a prescription for humans nor can you get it for cats and dogs but from the pet supply pharmacies you can get it for in the form of aquamox or fish mox and that was what I searched when I went online F-I-S-H-M-O-X and what this bottle is it's labeled aquamox it's for treating infected fish tanks but the contents of this is a hundred capsules of 500 milligrams each of amoxicillin and you can buy this same from this same company for um, cats and dogs but you have to buy it with a prescription and so only as a treatment for fish tanks can you buy it without a prescription so it gives us a loophole that we have access to this and I didn't have any trouble buying a hundred capsules of amoxicillin online even well after the shortage had begun and so that's what I'm urging you to do to start with it's not going to save you money it's going to be about the same price as you would pay at the pharmacist and um, it's going to have a five-year shelf life so make sure you write the date on it when you get it and that way you can discard it replace it if you can in five years in the meantime hopefully you won't need it but if you do this is what I recommend go to your doctor when you're sick or when your child is sick take the bottle with you and ask your doctor 
um, how to use it if you can't get the regular amoxicillin or augmentin, whatever he's going to prescribe, he or she is going to prescribe for you at the pharmacy. Try to get it at the pharmacy first, and, but ask your doctor how to use this. Because I ordered the 500 milligram strength because I figured it would be easy enough to divide it in half if I needed a, a smaller dosage and was going to take it more times in a day. It's not that hard to divide. You know, I could be very careful about it if I wanted to, but get your doctor to help you with that in case you absolutely can't get it from a regular source, like a pharmacy. Um, and, and don't ever, I'll repeat it one more time, don't take it without the advice of a physician or a, a medical professional. And lastly, the other thing that you need to be aware of, that my disclaimer, I guess, is um, that this version of amoxicillin is not controlled by the federal government. Because it is sold over the counter, it is, um, there is no guarantee that this is pure amoxicillin in here. So just be aware of that and use, your, and use caution in every way you can. So I hope that you keep yourself healthy, that your families are healthy, and that you never need this. But I recommend that you get some just in case. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.